Okay, here we're going to look at some in-season care options for squash. Uh, here we see a cucumber row, a farm that I visited, and we see these, they're not only suppressing weeds within the row, but also in between the rows where these vines are about to run to, to help reduce soil splash and some of the fruit, to reduce cleaning uh, time spent scrubbing. Uh, so this is something worth consideration. Now the first part we want to consider when we're looking at squash, and this almost happens before the in-season part, is to ensure you're spacing your squash properly depending on the variety. You'll hear terms like vine, semi-vine, compact vine, semi-bush, and bush used, and this gives some suggestions on how far they should be spaced both in the row and also between rows. This is the first kind of step to ensuring that while everything may initially kind of end and run together, they're not having a lot of overlap, to, which can create a lot of disease issues. Speaking of that weed control, growing on fabric is good for winter squash to reduce soil splash on the fruit. See that here, in particular melon crops also. In-row weed suppression of some kind is recommended. You see it going down here, but also considering in between that row uh, weed block there. It has some benefits. Uh, can the cost be justified? Some growers will say yes, some growers will say no. But keep in mind your time in the ease of harvest. Uh, it makes it really easy when there's no weeds in between here. Also, plant cleanup becomes a lot easier. Irrigation, so within uh, row weed suppression, irrigation can also be considered. We see drip irrigation being the most obvious choice. Overhead can be used and act as kind of a panic backup. Uh, but it can also increase powdery mold if it's not timed well. If you're going to irrig irrigate with overhead irrigation, uh, actually in the morning with heavy dew is probably a good time because the leaves will already be wet. However, once established, um, often the need for irrigation can be reduced in squash in general. And you're really looking at especially that early on to get those plants and those roots established uh, well, especially if you're planting successive crops and you want to have uh, periods of high heat. You want to ensure that they're able to survive and get established before they're able to have a sufficient root system to scavenge for water by themselves.